with galactic threats to humanity's very survival popping up throughout the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, one man's heroic quest to ensure his species' survival would lead directly to the Exterminator class being born. But what do we know about this amazing powerhouse battleship design? Well, today we'll find out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Truth or Myth Beta Canon, a Star Trek web series that dives into the history of any given topic, using Beta Canon sources and my own imagination to fill in the gaps. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Exterminator class, which is never before seen, but done in the style of the Confederation starship seen in Season 2 of Star Trek Picard, to better understand its place in Star Trek history. Please note, this is my own kitbashed creation. Inspired by Sean Taranjo's World Razor D design, I thought I would have a little fun with you all, giving you an alternative history to the Federation, well, at least a little bit of one. Also, one thing before we begin, there's a common misconception throughout some of fandom that the Confederation is similar to that of the Mirror Universe, but in reality, it's nothing like it. You see, instead of backstabbing and evil plotting their ways into positions of power, the Confederation's humanity came together much like the Federation's humanity, only with its primary goal to eradicate other alien species. So humanity still has the various laws and morality that the Federation has, except those laws only apply to humanity. For example, if someone was trying to assassinate a fellow human captain to gain a higher position in rank, that person would be violating the law, labeled a murderer, and dealt with as such. So please keep that in mind as you watch this special episode. And of course, and as always, because this is just a bit of fan fiction, all information relayed should pretty much be taken with a grain of stardust and only considered a little bit of Star Trek fun. And so, with all that out of the way, let's begin. A safe galaxy is a human galaxy, and this mantra of the Confederation would fly with humanity throughout the cosmos. But of all the legendary humans of the Confederation Corps, perhaps none are as important and viewed with such love as the great James Tiberius Kirk. His captaincy of the original Eradication Class starship, CSS World Razor, would capture the hearts and minds of Confederation citizens everywhere. The subsequent launch of the Eradication Class refit would see Kirk and his crew battle the alien threat known as V'ger, eventually able to download a vast majority of its database before the alien structure sent to destroy Earth self-destructed. And Kirk, now a general, realized the full extent of the danger that humanity faced as it ventured outward. And using all his might and influence, he would convince Confederation Corps Command to initiate several projects to further advance humanity's interests in starship design, eventually leading to the birth of the great experiment, the Exterminator Class. Sitting at a length of 523.2 meters, the Exterminator class would be designed to be operated by 525 loyal human officers and crew members. Named the Exterminator class based on its purpose to seek out and exterminate all threats to humanity, this class would have a standard safe cruising speed of Warp Factor 9 and an emergency maximum speed of Warp Factor 15.5. Utilizing the data recovered by General Kirk from V'ger, the Confederation Corps would develop weaponry based on that design and incorporate it into this new class of battleship. All of the Confederation held its breath as the Exterminator class's weapons test began, and once the dust settled, one thing was very clear, the test had failed. Reconfiguring the weapon for a second test firing only produced the same result, and after almost a year of repeated reconstruction and redevelopment of the new weapon, Confederation Corps Command was forced to admit defeat, much to the dismay of humanity. 
but General Kirk was not willing to throw in the towel quite yet. With the major damage sustained to the World Razor A at the Battle of Kittimer, Kirk would request the decommissioning of that battleship and directly assume authority over the Exterminator class project. General Kirk saw the potential in that battleship and began a refit project designed to incorporate more traditional, though greatly improved, technology into the design. And by the early 2290s, the Exterminator class would rise like a phoenix from the ashes, not only proving herself to be a formidable class, but also the class to lead the Confederation into the 24th century. Having formed an alliance, the First Federation, the Bajoran Species, and the Cardassian Union had posed a great threat to humanity. And General Kirk and his crew with the CSS Exterminator intended to end that threat once and for all. Try as they might, the First Federation had proven an unacceptable foe that the Confederation could barely hold their own against. Only the fact that the First Federation was a slow species and had barely any fleet to speak of had prevented humanity's utter destruction. Assembling a fleet and leading the charge, the CSS Exterminator would finally live up to her name and she was able to outfight the enemy and lay waste to all their existing Fasarius class vessels. And shortly thereafter, the cowardly First Federation would destroy their own homeworld and commit suicide en masse. With victory over the First Federation, Kirk and his crew would return to Earth in triumph. And yet, General Kirk was not done yet. Though the Bajorans and the Cardassians were still a threat, General Kirk knew it would be some time before humanity truly needed to intervene in that situation, and so he set his sights upon creating an even stronger version of the Exterminator class to become the new CSS World Razor B, the flagship for the Confederation. And before the turn of the century, his dream would become a reality, and the World Razor B and the CSS Exterminator under the command of the newly promoted Captain Hikaru Sulu would become two of the most important starships of the early 24th century. Sadly, General Kirk would be lost to history during the shakedown cruise of the new CSS World Razor B. Created as a great weaponry experiment only to fail, but then itself to be reborn by a legendary general, the Exterminator class would become one of humanity's biggest triumphant battleship classes of the early 24th century, cementing this class historically in humanity's ever-continuing quest to make the galaxy a safe place for all of the Confederation. Thank you for watching today's episode of Truth or Myth Beta Canon. What do you think of the Exterminator class, its refit variant, and the historical narrative that I've created here? Do you want to see more videos like this one? Well, leave your comments in the section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, hitting that little bell icon so you won't miss a single video we release. Want to help the channel continue to safeguard the ideals of the Confederation? Then consider becoming a channel patron a major help that allows this channel to purchase resources and 3D models to keep it going. The link to our Patreon account is in the description below. Thanks again for watching, and remember, a safe galaxy is a human galaxy.